Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to another five weekly favorites. First up is our podcast favorite of the week. I guess it's kind of a couple weeks because I think they've had like three episodes now, mm -hmm. but it's the Back to the Beach podcast with Kristen and Steven. If you loved Laguna Beach like we did, you have to watch this podcast. They're basically doing a rewatch podcast, like Office Ladies, you know, we love that podcast as well, um, where they're watching each episode of Laguna Beach and kind of giving you behind the scenes insight on like what was real, what was kind of more staged. And it is actually kind of sad to see how they were manipulated because they were children, like I 17, know. 18 year olds. Yeah. They had no idea what they were doing. And it sounds like it's the producers also, would like feed them lines mm -hmm. and they would say it just because they didn't want to like argue or they would be like, well, this is dumb, but I'll just say it. Like, I don't even know that they probably won't use it type of thing. And then how the, the producers or like wh whomever it would like cut the episode to just kind of like manipulate the story, even though that's not really what happened. Yeah, the thing that surprised me the most wasn't that things were like fake or the storylines weren't like always real, but that they would, they said they would film some things like months yes. later, like months later that aired in the pilot. So they just like completely made up timelines, mm -hmm. which is crazy to me. Like that was wild. I had no idea. Yeah. So I feel bad for both of them, but really the whole cast, because I feel like no one probably liked how they were portrayed in the end. Um, so it's interesting to see like the behind the scenes info, um, but we love Kristen and Steven. We love Kristen. I mean, she's, you know, everywhere now, I feel mm -hmm. like. Um, but the two of them together, like they still have so much chemistry and their yeah. banter is really cute. They're really great. So it's it's been a delight to listen to. Okay, I have a makeup favorite. So from Beauty Pie, I picked up the new waterproof mascara and the new bronzers. I'm still like testing the bronzers to see how much I love them. But this mascara is really good. I have it on right now and it does a really good job. Here, I'll show you the wand. Um, really good job of like lengthening it and defining. It doesn't do a great job at separating or volume, but it really makes your lashes look long. And like, this is the most like inky black mascara I own. It just is like so black and it kind of has like a sheen to it, if that makes sense. So I like how it looks on my lashes. It is so hard to get off. Um, but because of that, it doesn't smudge at all and it stays on all day. My lashes hold a curl. I've never really worn waterproof mascara, but this had such good reviews, so I wanted to try it. And I feel like it's great. It's like worth having it difficult to get off as long as my lashes aren't falling out. But I ordered a new waterproof mascara remover that should be arriving today, so hopefully that makes it easier. But I really like this so far. Like I love Beauty Pie mascaras. I think they're all really good. But yeah. I think this one might be my favorite. It just and, like looks, the component too. It's cute. Yeah, it just like makes my lashes look better and like I love that it holds a curl and I love that there's absolutely no smudging. And I have like the tiniest bit of flaking but barely anything. Okay, now the food favorites of the week. Um so we have let's see, Trader Joe's Target and then a random drink favorite. Trader Joe's find this week was the red bell pepper garlic and parmesan cream cheese spread we saw this on instagram and like went immediately to pick it up we've been eating this with pretzels and we actually have been putting it on our wraps as well like for lunch it's so good it, it is exactly as described it's, yes you can definitely taste the red bell pepper but it is very garlic forward and then it's also like parmesan cheese it's just also really creamy like it's, it's super it creamy indulgent. i can show you the yeah it's really thick it's delicious it's so good i'm sure it would even be good with like dipped like broccoli in it too yeah because i don't i think of it as more of like a dip than like a spread for some reason yeah i like love it, has it so with much the, flavor with the pretzels mm -hmm. it's just so good Okay, and then these, well, these are the orange cranberry. Yeah, but our so, favorite were the cherry cranberry. Yeah, so basically the Target brand favorite day, they have the little bakery section. We love their mini scones, and we've recently tried the cherry and loved almond cherry. No, they were cranberry cherry. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, cranberry cherry and now orange cranberry. I love them both, but yeah, I like the cranberry cherry Yeah, more. we couldn't find them again, but we got the orange, but they're so good. They're so moist, mm -hmm. so sweet. They're really good if you guys see these at Target. Yeah. Come up. And then lastly is a drink favorite. We got these at Traders. And we had been looking for Line and Kugel Summer Shandy 
our Target didn't have it, which is so weird because mm -hmm. it's usually everywhere in the summer, even though it's like made in Wisconsin. I feel like it's still, we can find it yeah, here easily. there's usually wide distribution, but there wasn't always. Remember when we first turned 21? Yeah. In San Diego. And we couldn't find it. And we couldn't purchase it anywhere. Like Bethmo probably had it. Yeah. We don't then, really go to Bethmo. But in the past like seven years, it's been everywhere. So yeah. it's really so weird. So it's really weird. We couldn't find it. And, but we love a shandy. Like if you've ever had a lemonade beer combination, it's 10 out of 10, especially in the summer, especially if you're not, I mean, we do like beer, but the lemonade just like kicks it up, you know? And so we got this, the Santa Monica Brew Works Stomp Shandy. It's made with hot dog on a stick lemonade. We've never been to hot dog on a stick, but we have heard how good their lemonade mm -hmm. is. It's pretty iconic. And the packaging drew us in. This was kind of expensive, like way more expensive than Wine and Kugel Summer Shandy. But um, Trader Joe's is cheaper. Yeah, Trader Joe's is like the cheapest place to buy alcohol. And it came in a four pack, one pint cans like this. And it is so good. And it's not too sweet. No, it's just like super crisp and refreshing. I'm probably going to have one later because it's so delicious. It's just a really nice, light summer beverage. It's delish. Okay, I think that's everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that went really fast. Yeah. So, hope you guys had a good week. Let us know your favorites down below, and we'll see you next week.